um, so uh, in this lecture, we are just going to consider how the ATP is calculated um, from one molecule of glucose. How we can calculate the amount of ATP produced. So what we need to know first is one molecule of glucose it can produce about 38 ATPs one molecule of glucose. So now how is it possible? First the glycolysis um, the glycolysis produces about um, two ATPs and um, two NADH. NDH, it is the proton donor of which when it donates proton, it generates energy. And we need to know that one N A D H D H it produces three ATP meaning when this NADH donates protons it generated generated about uh, three ATP so Another thing, uh, another uh, step that generates NH, it's a um, transition step. The transition step basically produces two NADH. Each one ADH produces the maximum of three ATP when it donates protons. So, um, another cycle which produces NH is um, the Klebs cycle or Citric cycle. This cycle it produces about uh, six NADHs and two FADH2 and two ATPs. So, now let's get into calculations just like we said earlier one adh produces about three atp where is that three atp comes from yeah where is the three atp comes from one adh uh, it donates about three protons which is hydrogen ions then each hydrogen ion it produces one ATP. It produces one ATP. So meaning one NADH here, one AD, NADH produces three hydrogen ions. Then each three each hydrogen ion. So here we have got how many hydrogen ions? We have one, two, three. Then each hydrogen ion it generates one ATP. So this it is equivalent to three ATP that one NAG8 produce. So one one NADH produces three ATP. So let's calculate the amount of uh, ATP that is produced from the metabolism of um, one molecule of glucose. So here we have how I many? Six NADH. This is from the Klebs cycle. So meaning six NADH. So we are going to multiply six times three. This three, it is the number of ATPs. This is the number of ATP, which is one. NADH is producing. Now, since we have 6 NADH, so we need to multiply 6 times 3, which is giving us 18 ATP. Then second, it's the what? 
the 2-NADH, which is being produced from the glycolysis. This is from the glycolysis. So we have 2-NADH, and we said that 1-NAD produces 3 ATP. This is ATP produced. Since we have 2, so it's 2 times 3, which is giving us 6 ATP. Then second, we have got 2 NADH. This is from the transition step. The transition step. So here, we have 2 NADH. And we said that 1 NADH produces 3 ATP. So since we have 2 NADH produces how many? 6 is 2 times 3 ATP. Another thing I said that Klebs cycle it produces NADH and also FADH. How many FADH produce? It's 2 FADH. So here 1 FDH it produces two hydrogen ions. 1 FADH it produces two hydrogen ions. Since we said that one hydrogen ion it produces about just one ATP. Since we have two NADH that is produced from the club cycle and one F A D H produces two hydrogens, then that two hydrogens uh, it means it can also produce two ATP. So it's two times two, two by two, which is four ATPs. Then I also said that the two ATP it directly comes from the glycolysis and it Another 2 ATP, it directly comes from the Klebs cycle. So now how can we calculate the total ATP? So it is now adding these ATPs, adding these ATPs that we have calculated. So we are going to add. So this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, okay, then um, 4, then five, then six. So these are the now the, 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 the are the ATPs that we are going to calculate in order to obtain the third eight. So let's start with um eighteen plus six plus six plus four plus two from glycolysis plus Two from club cycle. So what total is it giving us? Which is giving us that eight ATP. So this is how the ATP is calculated. So we consider the ATP produced from glycolysis and also the ATP that is being produced from um, club cycle. And uh, the NADH produced from the glycolysis, NADH produced from the Klebs cycle, transition step, and the ATP is produced in this. Oh, what you need to remember is NADH, it is the most energy generated as compared to FADH.